anyone ever here made chicken and dumplings, like made from scratch, dough balls, essentially the same thing with an Italian twist. You're gonna go about a one quarter cup of flour. Two cups of two cups of ricotta, and some whole milk ricotta. And to me, I prefer the Sorrento. It's a very good brand. I suppose I'd have to do. Once again, two eggs lightly beaten. Just a low sodium recipe for anybody with high blood sugar or anything. Now you can substitute it for anything that you'd like. You know, I, the recipes are totally open for change. With me, I love salt. I'm a salt fiend. But I try to be health conscious. The Parmesan Reggiano, about one and a half cup of that. We're gonna go with the nutmeg again. Once again, the half stick, unsalted butter. A quarter <laughs> teaspoon of salt. Same with the pepper. For the recipe on here, doesn't say anything really about milk, but I like to put it in there. It helps with the consistency. See it? Okay, looking for it. Remember, 911, just keep it in mind. <laughs> just a little bit. The reason I do that is because the consistency of it, it's a little too thick and sometimes it wants to be really unmanageable. And so if you add a little bit of that, it just kind of breaks it up a little bit. And you're gonna stir it until all the ingredients are really well beaten. Just fill you up about a smaller pot of water. And that's what you're gonna be using to boil the gnocchi in because we're gonna make it into little dough balls. So you're gonna make sure you wanna flour your cutting board and that helps it not to stick. Then really, on the recipe it says to bring it out and stretch it. But with this, I find it more manageable. If you just roll it around the flour, and just one to a little ball, just drop it in. It doesn't have to be boiled, but it'll come, it'll come to a boil, slowly. This right here, this will be your appetizer at any party that you want to have. They're really good. Just pour your marinara sauce on there. You don't want to put too terribly in. You don't want to put too many in at the same time. If you do, they cluster together and they like to stick and they'll come apart. So I recommend anywhere between six to eight. And then you're going to get you a non-stick pan and you're going to spread that as well just for extra measure. And we have pure vegetable oil or olive oil. I prefer the olive oil. I think it has a better flavor. Okay, we're gonna start with the tomatoes. There's nothing fancy about them. You don't have to cut them up. The thin slices and make them look real nice. Because all we're gonna do is we're gonna be chunking them and then smashing them. I think if you use fresh tomatoes, it really brings out the flavor in your marinara sauce. Smash them up, they don't have to be perfectly smashed. Because usually whenever you do this, whatever it starts to simmer, 
they tend to come apart anyways. Now the marinara calls for two cups of flour, but since it's, we're doing a smaller portion, and I would say probably just half of that, actually less than half of that, we're gonna probably just put less than half of a cup in there for flour. And the reason I like doing that is because it makes it a nice cream base sauce. See, I really wouldn't even use the tomato paste, but I think it has a really good tang to it. I think it really helps the flavor, because I do just like using tomatoes and smashing them up and making a marinara out of that. But if you're pressed for time, this really comes in handy, because then you can still add your own kind of flavor to it. You can add your basil and oregano. On this, you can add just about as much as you want because everyone has a preference on how they like their sauce. And on the menu, I also said add water where needed. And the reason behind that is because some people like a thick sauce, more cream sauce, while I like mine kind of a little bit runny. And then we're gonna check on our gnocchi balls. They're boiling now. Okay. See with them, they're gonna come out looking a little something like that. Just like little dough balls. You're gonna place them into the pan and that's where you're gonna be sauteing them at. I want it, it just calls for rosemary, but sometimes I like to add a little dash of salt. And the reason behind that is because I'm a salt fiend. And also, it helps to bring out the flavor a little bit. And I like to use a tiny spatula for these, so that way you can individually wrap them around. And they're gonna sit for a while. And while they're sitting, you can go ahead and add your oregano to them. Not oregano, rosemary, I'm, I'm sorry. And like I said, a little dash of salt, not much. As far as your gnocchi goes, that's about all that goes into it. You'll serve it onto a party tray while pouring the marinara. <laughs> 911. <laughs> you'll pour the marinara on top of it. And then you'll serve it. That's all there is to it. And like right now, the sauce is kind of thick. So I'm going to add a little more water to it. And just boil a nice dish. And this is your appetizer. And you pour your marinara on top. Thick, you'll just kind of spread it out evenly. Then garnish with grated Parmesan. And that's your appetizer.